A couple of years ago I did a video on heat staining an exhaust using some Tamiya enamel paints and I needed to thin them myself and for most of the guys watching the video that was not the easiest part to do so I figured I have some new products to my disposal and this time it's really easy. They are pre-thinned already so just pour them in the airbrush. Just to sum it up quickly, I applied some primer, then I painted it silver, and then I adjusted my airbrush to set it to a certain depth as I have a needle depth stop on this airbrush, preventing the needle from going too far back and just making it exactly uh, predictable on how much paint there comes out. So the next step is pretty easy, just go over the parts that you want to paint in this heat staining uh, paints. First of all, I'm just going to do some blue as you can see here and then I'm going to take it a step further by adding some red and then I'm going to take it a step too far by adding another color and then I'm going to completely finishing it off going way overboard by weathering it a bit making it a bit darker with some burnt iron. Now I could have stopped after this second stage but there are various different methods of doing this and there's also various different outcomes you can have. In this case in my opinion I went too far but it was the first time in a long time that I tried it and especially the first time using these paints and also trying to get a certain look and didn't really know what to expect so I just took it overboard as I always do. So after going a bit overboard with the red, I moved on to going way overboard with the hot metal violet. Now this step was probably a bit too much as the exhaust tip was already fully covered with the red and I wanted to add another color on there and that should have not really been done in my opinion. But it can't go back now and I kind of like the outcome, it's just a bit overdone, a bit too much, a bit too weathered in my opinion according to the rest of the chassis but overall it looks fine and it is believable and that is the most important thing. Now after doing this hot metal stuff I decided to add some burnt iron on top just to tone it down a bit, maybe even blend it in a bit and not make it look as overdone as it was. So this method is pretty adjustable to the way you want it to be. You can either stop really soon or go way overboard or somewhere in the middle. I just need to do this a couple more times just to perfect it. But for now I was really happy with the way that it came out, especially for first time using these paints. As you can see it's not that hard, you just need to know when to stop.